tell me how it happened. Uh, they were sleeping downstairs. And then my husband came home. Drunk from the Marcus, even though he just lost his job. We don't have any money. Anyway, he came to bed. But downstairs, they must have heard a noise. They woke up. They started uh, calling out. They woke my husband up. When he's drunk, you don't wake him up. What happened then, Mrs. Connors? He went downstairs. He killed them. Strangled them, all three of them. And you've, um, you've, you've brought their bodies here today with you? Proof, Mr. Shelby. Singing was the only pretty thing in my life. I don't care, my husband beats me. But not this. Mrs. Connors, we have your address. We will speak to your husband. My brother here will go to the Bull Ring Market today and buy you three new golf inches and have them delivered to your door. <laughs> Same colours and, you know, feathers. The new ones I will call Thomas, Arthur and Finn. That'll make him pause, even when he's drunk. Good day, Mr. Shelby. You take care, Mrs. Connors. Boy. I don't know how you do this, Tom. I really don't. You learn things, Arthur. That woman has only two rooms downstairs. Her husband has lost his job and he beats her. And yet the thing that brings her to see a member of parliament is songbirds. Now that's politics, Arthur. It's not for me.